Tada! It's a tree. Thank you, wilderness expert. I was more wondering why. My mom used to get insomnia when I was a kid. She'd drive over here to the lantern, three in the morning, to work in the garden. <laughs> Sometimes she'd take me with her. It's always been a special place for me. I hope it can be for you too. I should have been taking better care of it. Come on. You've had other stuff to worry about, like totally killing that set. <laughs> You're such a rock star. Thanks for everything. I had fun. And so did the audience. You know they're gonna make you do it again next year, right? You, you good? Yeah, fine. Guess I've just been too wrapped up to think about what the future looks like. <laughs> okay. So let's think about it. Alex's future in Haven Springs. The major motion picture. The ride. On ice. <laughs> Close your eyes. It's morning. Chilly. You can see your breath. You're walking down Main Street on the way to work. Where? Definitely the record shop. Oh, I'm sure Steph will appreciate that. Before you ruthlessly push her out and take her job, that is. So after work. Sun's still up for another couple hours. It's warm now. You're carrying your jacket under your arm. What's the plan? Sit right here on the roof and play my guitar. Smart. Stay in practice. Only a few more months till the next Spring Fest. Anyway, someone's at the door. Who? Only the coolest person in Haven Springs. He walks up to you in an extremely cool way. <laughs> His plaid jacket swaying in the breeze. <sighs> Dork. Yeah. I'm not trying to get you to plan out your whole life, but if you decide you wanted to put down roots, Haven Springs will always make space for you. Was that a gardening pun? No. I really care about you, Alex. A lot. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. Come on, dummy, kiss her, kiss her. kiss you right now. I know.
we join the festivities? I'll get you a funnel cake. Maybe you could save me one. Yeah, of course. I'll see you down there. Hey, Gabe. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died. Who's responsible. Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull. Which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. Kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Oh, um, also, I kissed Ryan. So that happened. <laughs> Alex, do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex, don't make this hard. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? I'm all right. Thanks, though. Good. Because we're uh, actually out. Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. What the hell are you talking about? Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. 
Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. I have the evidence. Right here. It doesn't matter. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. I just handed you a smoking gun. It shouldn't matter how I got it. Maybe not. But it does. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. You're telling me I might go to prison for this? For five to ten years? It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. Why would she do that? She just wants this whole thing to go away. This is how to make that happen. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and 
who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah, well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? this? Gabe, Mac, Alex, who's next? Fuck. 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 Just keep your head down, Tony. You're just a shit heel. Typhon's major league. Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears, people. Let them get killed. Not you. I know you're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible, but they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. Just have a little courage. Please. Fuck. I'll think about it. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? Alex. Be careful. Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if... I have no idea what to do next. 
Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. First, I need to get out of this dress. I'll treasure it too, Ryan. Enjoy that ice cream. I'm glad Ducky had a nice night. He deserves it. Time for a change of clothes. Might as well go talk to Jed now. That must be Ryan's. I guess the night wasn't all bad. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. What proof? I stole it from Diane. Emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some secret they buried. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what to do next. But I'm not giving up. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. Wait. You're telling me you knew that Typhon's crooked? This whole time? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. There, up ahead. Where are we? Middle of nowhere. 
About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. sad. I'm sorry, kid. Jed, what are you doing? I tried to talk you out of it, scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you, you can't undo. But Typhon made me a deal way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. Welcome back, Alex. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? I thought I learned what it means to make a place your home. That must have felt like quite the victory. Let's talk about how it feels to know that you might have been wrong.
I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a sweet boy. But Alex, you're right back where you started. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. What the fuck? Case number 53322. How did I even get back here? guitar. Knock, knock. Um, 
Alex Chen. My guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. Huh. Alex. Gabe? <gasps> You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say... a hospital? Dr. Mendez to intensive care? Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely a hospital. <laughs> Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick, so is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. <sighs> Alex, go check on your mother. Okay.
she was right over there, waiting for me. We spent so much time in here that Gabe told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess. Gabe, Alex, I need you to listen very carefully. We got some scary news today, and I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom, are you okay? Hush now, it's going to be okay. Do you understand me? Things will be... It was always too hot in this room. How many nights did Dad spend in this room? Sleep. There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Hi, Mom. So brave. Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. Wait. Did I miss something? No matter how much Mom drank, her throat was always dry. Even then, she knew. We spent so much time in here that I basically memorized every article. It was always too hot in this room. She's just on the other side. Mom, what am I missing? What did we talk about? There's something so weird and scary about watching how many nights did Dad spend in this room, sleeping in an uncomfortable... It was always too hot in this room. There it is. 
is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. Hi, Mom. Water, Alex. Get her some water. You almost never cried, even when you were very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? me a promise. Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. Will you do that, Alex? Ha <laughs> ha 